prepare extracts from the income statement and statement of financial position for the above machine for each of the three years to 30th September 2008. On October 2005, stay with me carefully. Dates are very important in financial statements preparation. Very important. So I want you to stay with me carefully. Remember, the year ended is 30th September 2008. Okay. So if the year ended is 30th September, then when does the year start? It means the year starts on where? 1st October. So on 1st October 2005, Deering acquired a machine under the following terms. So that is the date of acquisition. Manufacturer's base price, 1 million and 50,000 Ghana cities. Stay with me. That is the base price. Two, trade discount applying to the base price only is 20%. So immediately we start reading the question, since the company acquired the asset, we need to start dealing with the initial cost. So dearing, we are doing our workings because everything we will do will be a workings because we are supposed to extract financial statement. So we need to determine the initial cost of the machine when? On 1st October 2005, slashing our currency sign. So what do we do? Let's bring in first the manufacturer's base price, 1 million and 50,000. So we less the trade discount. And as per the question, give me a sec. They said 20%. I need a faster sign for me, please. So 20% of 1 million and 50,000. 210,000. Okay. All right. So we take that out so that we can get the payable amount, 840,000. So this is how much that is payable. Remember, we said the trade discount doesn't come anywhere in the financial statements, but it just reduced how much we're supposed to pay. So that is the trade discount. Next slide. We have what we call early settlement discount taking on the payable amount of the base cost only is 5%. Early settlement discount. That is what is called what? Discount received. So the company qualifies for it. They are going to be paying 5%. That will not be included in the initial cost of the asset. It could directly come on the face of the financial statement if we want to. So I'm going to present myself and then extract my financial statement usually and bring that up as well. Or I could put it up in the workings flow. Don't worry. This is workings one, workings two, at least a term and discount. So that's going to be 5% on the amount payable, which is what? The 840. How much we got? 84 divided by 2 42, is 42,000. So that's an income that will go on the face of the statement of financial position for the first year and then let's go. Freight charges. What did we say? It's a cost that must be incurred. It is necessary to bring the asset to its present use. So freight charges to be included in the initial cost of the asset, 30,000. Next, electrical installation cost. That's necessary. So bring it up. 28,000, so we bring it up. Next, staff training in use of machine. We don't care. That cannot be included in the initial cost of the asset. Instead, we'll recognize it as an expenses in the PL account. Why? Because whether you train the staff or you don't train them, the asset is ready for use. But somebody will say, but Shira, if we don't train them, they cannot use the asset. We don't care. <laughs> We don't care. What does the training got to do with bringing the asset to its present use? So staff training costs are not directly attributable costs. Hence, we are not going to be including it in the initial cost of the asset. We will capitalize it. We will put that in the PL account. Next, pre-production testing cost. You know that already. Let's bring in 22,000. How much we got? 22,000. That has to be included. Next. Purchases of a three-year maintenance contract. Listen to the word, maintenance contract. That cannot also be included in the initial cost of the assets. It's a P&L item. So we have to put it on the face of the statement of financial 
performance and amortize it over the three years. So that is not going to be capitalized. It's a profit or loss item. Next, estimated residual value. We'll come to that. Estimated life in machine hours. Oh, so here we're going to be charging the depreciation using machine hours. So the examiner has given us the respective hours used in the three years under review. Then on October 2007, so that is like the, the third year because October 2007 is in the third year. So before we treat that, let's do the year ended 2006, do the year ended 2007. Then in the year ended 2008, we'll come and read that information. Again, stay with me carefully and follow the way I read and work. Because you don't read the whole thing and become overwhelmed. You must know up to what point must I read to and work so that I break down what I'm doing in a logical, simple manner. So it means this is our initial cost. Let's add it up. So initial cost of the machine. 920,000. 920,000. All right. So now that we have the initial cost of the machine, we can then go in there and calculate our depreciation. But remember, the estimated life in machine hours is 6,000. So we go to workings two. Sorry, that would be workings. We are workings two for the early settlement. So I could do workings three. What kind of? Okay, no, don't worry. I'm just going to follow in the workings one. So depreciation rate per machine R. Let's go. You know the formula already. The cost which is how much? 920,000. No need to write the formula. We know you know already. Minus the residual value. What is the residual value in this question? 20,000 Ghana cities. So 20,000 divided by the estimated life in machine hours, 6,000 hours. What do we have for the depreciation rate per R? 150. So 150 Ghana cities per machine R. So now that we have this, we go to the first year ended, and that is September 2006. So for that year, let's do depreciation. So depreciation, 30th, 9, 2006, it's going to be the rate per R, 150 Ghana cities, multiplied by the hours for that year ended. How many hours do we have? 1,200 hours. What's our figure? 180,000. 180,000. Then we go to the depreciation for the year ended, 30th September, 2007. Pay attention carefully because something started happening on 1st October, 2007. But 1st October, 2007 is the beginning of the year ended, 30th September, 2008. Okay. And the hours there is 1,800. So still our rate is 150 Ghana times 1,800 hours. What we got? 270,000. 270,000. So that is our depreciation for the 2006 and 2007. Now, once we calculate our depreciation, it will be prudent for us to, you know, do the carrying amount case. So I'll come back to my pro forma here. I'm going to less depreciation for 30th September 2006. How much we got? 180,000. Less it, give me the carrying amount as of that year ended. So that is the carrying amount on 30th 09 2006. Then again, we will less the depreciation for 30th September 2007. How much we got? 270,000. Let's take it out. 470,000. Okay. So now that we've dealt with those two years, 1st October 2007 is the beginning of the third year. So before we get excited to calculate depreciation for that year, we have to read the English on what is available there. On 1st October 2007, that is the beginning of the third year, Deering decided to upgrade the machine by adding a new component at the cost of 200000 now, component addition, upgrade of machine will be a capital expenditure. So we have to add that cost to the 
carrying amount. So if I go back to my slide here, this is the carrying amount as of 30th September 2007. I can decide to close this up. Then I will come with the carried amount on 1st October 2007. What is the figure there? 472,000. Then we're going to now add the upgrade cost. So we add subsequent upgrade cost. Please note it's a capital expenditure. If it is not a capital expenditure, it will go to the PL account. It's a capital expenditure in that particular case. So because it is a capital expenditure, we have to add it to the current amount at the date of when that expenditure was incurred for the period under review. The revised quote unquote cost of the asset as at that date. Okay, so the revised cost of the asset, or if you want to keep it simple, you can say the restated balance, whichever works for you, you'll be good. So that becomes 670,000. Let's go. This upgrade led to a reduction in the production time per unit of the goods being manufactured using the machine. The upgrade also increased the estimated remaining life of the machine at 1st October to 4,500 hours. Estimated remaining life. You see, had that statement not been made, Anka, as at 1st October, what is the life of the asset? Total is 6,000. In year one, we did how many hours? Here, 1,002. In year two, we did 1,008. So 1,002, 1,008. Can I have an answer coming up, please? That will be 3,000, I guess. Yeah, 3,000. 3,000. So that is, fair. so as at 1st October 2007, Anka, the remaining life of the asset will be 3,000 hours. But the upgrade has caused the entity to now increase the estimated use of life to what? 4,500. It means we have to recalculate the depreciation rate per hour for the remaining life of the asset. So 1st October 2007. Depreciation rate per hour would now be equal to what? Our revised cost or restated balance, 670,000. Now, has the residual value changed? Let, let's maybe let's finish with it. And its estimated residual value was revised to 40,000. Oh, so now our estimated residual value is going to be 40,000, no longer 20,000, but now 40,000. So 670 minus 40,000 divided by the revised remaining life of 4,500 hours, which we got. So that's 140 Ghana cities per machine R, per machine R, okay, confirmed. So now from at 1st October, because of the decision, this is now the depreciation rate per R. We are done reading. So for the year ended 30th September 2008, what will be the depreciation? They used 850 hours. So for 30th September 2008, our depreciation will be the new rate we have got, 140, multiplied by the 850 hours that we used. How much we got? 119,000. So that's our depreciation. So now we can bring that up here so that we can get a current amount. So we less the depreciation for 30th, 09, 2008, 119,000. And that gives us the current amount. 551,000. 2008. This is the workings. We've not answered the question yet, though, because the question said, prepare extract. It's important you understand the requirements of the question. So let's extract the financial statements now and do the various treatment that has to be done. So A, we can say the statement of profit or loss. Remember, it's an extract. It's important you add that there. And we're going to work in a columnar form for the three years. So 30th September 2006, 30th September 2007, 30th September 
then we slash in our current design. Again, the reason we are working for three years is because the examiner said for each of the three years to 30th of September 2008, slashing the current design, slashing the current design. So what are we going to be bringing in the PNL account? Certainly, depreciation is an expenses. You know that already from KG2. So we bring in the depreciation respectively. If you realize 2006, 180, 2007, 270, then 2008, we got 119,000, all right? Then remember we spoke about the maintenance cost and the staff training cost. I told you those things are PNL items. So let's bring in the staff training cost. That is the 40,000. So that's a PNL item for the 2006 year ended. So staff training, 40,000. Next one. We spoke about the maintenance contract. We bought it. We paid for it. But you cannot include it in the initial cost. You have to amortize it. So we bring in the maintenance cost. How much did we pay? It's for three years. So 60,000 divided by three. So each year we take 20,000. So those are the two items that we didn't include in the initial cost because we said they are not directly attributable to the initial cost of the assets. Next one. Remember the discounts received in the current year, 40, uh, 42,000 that we did the calculation for. We're gonna bring it in the PNL account, 42,000. Now, all of these, uh, this is an extra financial statement the depreciation, the staff training, the maintenance costs, all our expenses. So you have two options. You can decide to put all of them in brackets so that you leave the discount received as positive. Or you can decide to put the discount received rather in brackets so that it reduces the cost at the end of the day because it's an extract. Alternatively, you can put all the other ones in brackets and leave the discount received as a positive figure. It's your dance. You choose how you want to boogie. Then let's look at the statement of financial position. That will be the B aspect. That's an extract. Also in a columnar form. So let me just duplicate this. Paste. So we're going to bring in the current amount of the property plant and equipment. So we bought a machine. From the workflow, what do we get? Let's go pick the figures up. 206, 740. 207, 470, then 208, if you remember, 551,000, okay? 551,000. Now, technically, technically, um, that maintenance contract that has been purchased, you know, we said we are amortizing it over three years, all right? So the remainder would have to be also recognized on the face of the statement of financial position, assuming the company has paid for it. In the context of this question, we don't know if, because they just said purchased. We don't know if they paid for it, if they paid for it. But assuming they have paid for it, then on the face of the statement of financial position, we will bring it up here. So in 2006, remember we have two more years to go. So still under the current asset, we'll bring maintenance cost we will have the 20,000 for the next year coming in then under current assets we will have maintenance cost of 2008 under 2007 we will have 20,000 under current because we have two more years so the 20,000 that will be paid in the next two years is what we are bringing under non current the 20,000 that will be paid in the next year is what we brought under current. So that is why you are seeing 40,000 here for the remaining two years. If we go to 2008, now we have just one year to go. So the 20,000 that you are seeing under 2008 here is the maintenance cost that we are going to be charging in 2008. That is why it is under current assets. Any questions? That is the answer to this question.